All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sketchy Physics. Uh, it's a program that goes inside of Google SketchUp, and it doesn't come with it. So if you do have it, you go to View Toolbars and make sure these are checked down here, and you'll be able to see the properties that come up. If you don't have it, you can go to Google, just type in Sketchy Physics, click on the first link, and go to Downloads, and you'll see you can download your version. You probably want the Windows 3.1. Okay? All right, so um, Sketchy Physics is basically a program where you can create objects and add physics to it, like it would act like in real life, or maybe not so real, but they move. So um, if you don't have these, again, you can get them from View Toolbars. And by the way, if you didn't know, you can put these um, windows inside the frame right here, and it'll stay with it. Or you can drag it out of there, and it won't stay with it, and that's kind of nice too. So I like it like that. Have all these open, all four of these. And the first thing you want to do is put a floor in. Okay, so create solid floor. Click that, and it puts this floor in. You don't need Susan anymore, so go ahead and delete her if you'd like. And um, what you can do is create a box. So like if I create this box, click on it once, click here, click there, where it's just kind of like the box tool, and I go up, and that's your box. And so like right here, you need to understand this pretty well. Um, if I hit play, um, it lets me move things around, and if I have motors or anything else, it'll work. Or I can knock it off off there. If I want to rewind it to the starting position, hit reset physical simulation. Now here's the thing. You some I've seen people create something, they'll move something, and then they'll start drawing something else and it'll go back. And then it should. You don't want to like pause it and then start drawing something in a spot and then it not work the way you want. So like I've had um or save it while it's running. You always want to rewind, okay? But uh basically that's it for moving stuff around. It's pretty simple. You know, you could create um, you could uh, create something so you could have like a wall that falls over or whatever else. Um, but what's really interesting is you actually use the joints. So for example, I'm going to create this box here. And let's say I want something very exciting, like a wheel turning on it. <laughs> now they do have these wheels. And you can click once and click again and click again and there's this wheel on it, okay? And if you, okay, so right now, you, it doesn't do anything. If I hit play, it'll just fall. Or it does actually stick to it. That's awesome. I didn't think it'd do that. It's going back and forth. That's strange. So what you can do, though, is if you double-click this component, inside is a joint. All right, so click on that joint. And if you click this UI, that's called user interface. And it gives you all the commands or, like, all the things about that joint. And so what I want to do is I want to change the acceleration to 0.5. Oh, it doesn't do points. 0.5. There it goes. And so when I hit play now, it's just going to start spinning, and it'll just start spinning faster and faster until it gets to a certain speed. Okay, so that's acceleration. And if I want, I could change that to 5 instead of 0.5, and if I hit play, it'll start spinning very fast right away. Okay? You don't want to go too fast because things just get kind of crazy sometimes. Um, but how do you make a joint? How do you actually make one instead of just placing it in there like that? So let's try that. So I'm going to create a little square that's going to be on the outside of this square. All right. And, uh, you know, I'm going to move it out. Okay. And what I can do, though, is I'm going to create a motor myself. And I'm going to draw it on the surface here. Just kind of face it outward. Okay. And what I can do, then, is this needs to be joined with that. Right. So I can use this button right here. It's called the joint connector. I'm going to click on the joint and I'm going to hold on to control or even shift. Nah, control. Hold on control. You'll see a little plus mark show up and then click on the object. So when I hit play now, it spins with it. Or I see I can spin it myself if I'd like to. But again, if I want it to actually do a certain something, I can go to right click joint settings or the right here. And I could tell the joint that I want it to accelerate by one. So there it goes. Now, the thing is, though, is this is just holding on to nothing. If I actually zoom out, or if I zoom around here, you can see it's actually not attached to anything. Maybe I want to be attached to this block, because right now if I hit play, I can move this block and this stays with it, or it doesn't stay with it. So what you can do is you can actually group things. So I'm going to take this object, hold down Control, and group it with this. All right, I don't have this selected, just the big block and the joint. I'm going to right click and do make group. So now if I hit play, 
that is insane why is it doing this <laughs> well what you can see though is what's more important is that the block is actually stuck with the other block but this still sp spins independently I think I know what's going on I think it thinks this thing is much larger than it really needs to be um, so let's just look at this little hinge guy here um, eh, don't worry about it just try it out see if it goes crazy like mine does see it should go like that that's better I don't know why it did that the first time it should have been fine so but yeah you can see it's, it's spinning independently from it. I can move this thing and that thing will still go why is that useful well you can make like a car or something like that so that's that joint let's get rid of these you can keep yours if you like it doesn't really matter but try out these other joints so I'm just gonna create a, uh, a few squares uh, you can do the same uh, I'm just gonna pause it so you don't have to watch me make a bunch of squares though actually I want you to see me make squares Remember, you can like hit control while you're moving it and just place them in there and I can also do like divide by three or four there I got those in there as well all right so you've seen the motor let's uh, and I want you to try these out just try like the slider so for example if I click here and then give it a good distance like this all right click again make sure it's on the green axis what I can do is again I'm gonna use the jointer I'm going to click on the little joint guy thing right here. Okay, don't worry about this yellow line that appears. It doesn't really mean to be there. Then I'm going to hold down Control. I'm going to add this block here. And if I play, you can see it, it, it's, it'll only stay on the slider. <coughs> doesn't matter where I try to move it, it stays on there. Pretty nifty, huh? Um, why is that useful? Well, if you added something like a spring as well, um, let's say I'm, I'm going to add a spring to this block. What I can do is, I'm going to, again, click the UI, or you don't need that actually, I don't worry about it, but I'm going to click the joiner, click on the spring, hold down control, click on the box. If I hit play, you can see I can pull it, and if I let go, it kind of slides the other way. So it's, it's like a sticky point, it wants to stay with that, all right? And that's good if you want to like make games or something like that, or a gun or something like that, you'd want some sort of spring loaded thing. And then go ahead and try these other ones out. There's like servo. This one's actually, I use this one all the time. If I go straight up with it, you know, you can go out like this, but then the servo's like that. You don't want it like that. You want it to go straight up. And again, join it. Click that. Control. Click that. So if it play, a servo gives you control. I can turn it left and right. So that's what a servo does. Um, and what do I want this one to do? I'm gonna click this box. Oops. And this one's a piston, I believe. Yeah. So I'm gonna click this one and have it go outward. And again, join it. Y you kind of get the drift. Just do it to everything that you have, and see what it does. See, this one will go left. Or I'm sorry, this one right here, piston. It'll go forward and backwards as I move this. So. Might be good if you're trying to make like a tractor or something like that. Okay. And then last but not least, um, there's the what is this thing? Motor? Oh yeah. It's very much like the hinge, except the motor you control. That's the only difference. So go ahead and try it out, and you see what it does. All right. So I got those objects but I also want to show you the different types of joints um, you can just try these out yourself one's a corkscrew and one's a ball hinge um, let me pause it and create something and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done okay so like if I create two boxes this will be like an arm joint or something like that or shoulder if I create this little ball thing and I'm gonna put it right on the surface and just kinda stick it out a ways here doesn't really matter I don't think and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use my jointer tool, click this, I'm going to click the opposite thing, the one that's not touching, and then I'm going to take this object and hold on control and hit that object and I'm going to group them. Alright. Oh, it already thinks it's grouped. Yeah, let's try it and see what happens, I guess. So if I move this, you can see I can move in any direction but it's going to be stuck to this thing right here, right? So that's kind of cool for things. 
want to do those. I want to actually group these together. So let's see if I can do that. Yeah, right click. Or yeah, that, that worked that time. Hold down control, click both, do make group. What that allows you to do is now that this is grouped to this object, um, it'll move with it. So for example, if I move this, you can see that it's stuck with this. All right. Ooh, it's kind of crazy there. Um, so if you want to like make a little dummy or something like that, then you could and it would be stuck with it. So you can see it kind of acts together. So that's kind of cool. Uh, go ahead and make these objects. And if you want to try with the, uh, the uh, corkscrew or the universal, go for it. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video.